Hey, Armand here with your last forecast for the year of 2019. In fact, your last forecast for the decade. Now, let's not get started with that whole business about how the decade really ends on the the 10 year as opposed to starting at the zero year. You've been writing 201 and now you're going to have to start writing 202. And for me, that's a new decade. We're starting the 2020. We're starting the 2020s. All right, it's not enough that 19 is over. We're going to start a whole new decade. So let's think about this a little bit. I would say the first thing is that this is sort of a little bit of a down week in the midst of all the excitement. We had that solar eclipse last week. We're coming up to a lunar eclipse, Saturn-Pluto conjunction, and Uranus station next week. So we're sort of like hanging out in the middle. The energy level is still high. I certainly would not say that nothing is happening this week. Quite a bit is happening this week. It's pretty exciting, but it's a different sort of feel. And of course, it is the calendar change over time. It's close to the solstice. It is a time for reflection on the past, in this case, going back a decade. Think about where you were in 2010 and think about where you are now. <sighs> yeah. Um, look at the changes that have happened over the course of 10 years. And so, you know, you sort of get yourself set a little bit for the coming year and you get yourself set a little bit for the coming decade. If you happen to be around, uh, check out cosmicintelligenceagency.com. And next weekend, we're giving uh, the weekend of January 4th and 5th, we're giving a two day agents seminar symposium on the coming decade, and I think that that's really worth watching. So cosmicintelligenceagency.com. It'd be cool to check out. I'm speaking on Sunday, but uh, Julia Simmons and I are hosting it all weekend long. Time for reflection, changing of the decade, changing of the year. So we sort of step back a little bit and say, wow, what's going on? Do set your intentions. I found and my clients have found, and others that I've talked to have found, that that eclipse uh, on the Christmas Day eclipse, right near the solstice, uh, conjunct Jupiter, trine Uranus, really sort of got the sense going in a lot of folks that it's time to move on to something in the future, uh, sort of a setting, at least a vague intention for the future as opposed to uh, being something that was so immediate. It's sort of like, a, like, okay, we're turning the corner, going to look towards a different future. Got to see how that pans out and how that plays out. Lots of, uh, lots of things are up in the air, obviously, but it's a good time to be thinking about where you're going. Now, uh, a very good time to think about anything is on Monday as Mercury trines Uranus. Brilliant ideas, and in Earth signs, brilliant ideas with practical applications. So Monday, Sunday night, undoubtedly, Sunday night, undoubtedly very good uh, uh, time to uh, boil these ideas, ferment the ideas, and they're very likely to come out on Monday. It's a great time for communication. It is a great time for reaching out to folks. Uh, the moon is void for a little tiny piece of Monday morning, and then you've got the Pisces moon, the waxing Pisces moon, lots of creativity, sort of intuition time, basically nice aspects and so on. Monday, Tuesday, pretty good stuff. Uh, Wednesday, New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve, uh, New Year's Day, rather. Wednesday heats things up a little bit, especially at the very, very end, uh, getting into late month, uh, late Wednesday into Thursday. Moon goes into Aries, a fiery sort of energy prevails. Uh, I think the early part of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Piscean reflection. We have a pretty, uh, pretty long void time on, uh, no, we don't have a very long void time on January 1st, but it's a Pisces time. And uh, we're, we're sort of, you know, wrapping up things and you sort of do that bit of reflection. Uh, when we get to Thursday, Friday, all of a sudden things are definitely much more fiery, much more popping. Mars on Friday goes into Sagittarius. And Mars in Sagittarius, uh, a bit of a a bit of a crusader, let's call it. It's the sort of crusader energy. It's fighting for the cause. Uh, could add to some of the polarizations that we've been having, but I think it's also an upbeat, fiery energy. Right up until that point, Mars at the end of Scorpio, I'd have to say Tuesday, Wednesday, there could be a little bit of a contraction. Mars in Scorpio can be a little overprotective. Be a little bit cautious about that. Also coming up towards the end of the week, we have Venus 
is going to be in a nice uh, sextile aspect, trine aspect with Juno. And so Venus is kind of what we want, what we desire, our sense of aesthetics, and that Juno is the partnership asteroid. It's nice to have what you want and what you have sort of on the same page. That's that energy that is very prominent, I would say, Friday into Saturday. The moon is really helping out to keep that hopping. Um, and then the weekend, uh, the weekend gives a little bit more of that Taurus vibe, a little bit more surprise, a little bit more energy, where, uh, especially as the moon hits up with Uranus and so on. So the weekend should be popping a little bit. We're getting closer to the eclipse. We're getting closer to the Uranus station. We're getting closer to the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. So I would say the beginning part of the week is reflective. Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday is very active, implementing type of time. Weekend is also very active. Should be a kind of a fun weekend out, all things considered. And, uh, and then we get into some really, really heavy activity as we go through the first full week of 2020. That's your basic, uh, that's your basic story here. Your mission is to reflect on the past, plan, and act for the future act for the future uh you know action it you know it, i would say usually symbolic action at least but to tell you the truth action action is real important again i'd like to invite you to join the uh, symposium check it out at cosmicintelligenceagency.com and i will be back here next week and we'll talk about stuff then bye-bye